بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لونگ گریٹنگ فروم می ٹو آل اینڈ اسپیشلی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو آل مسلم لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین اراؤنڈ دا ورلڈ اٹ از بلیسنگ آف آل مائٹی اللہ دیٹ اللہ آل مائٹی ہیز چوزن از فار دا میسیج آف اسلام ٹو ڈے اوور ٹاپک از اباؤٹ دی کنسیپٹ آف حرام ان اسلام سو وداؤٹ اینی ویسٹ آف ٹائم لیٹس موو ٹو اوور ٹاپک As we know that the things which are forbidden, the things which are haram in Islam have a lot of disadvantages for human beings. Although they did not come to our mind for a while. The things which are pure harmful is forbidden, is haram by Islam. And the things which are pure beneficial for us is halal in Islam. And the things which have side effects greater than their benefits is also haram in Islam. And the things which have benefits greater than their side effects is halal in Islam. Quran has explanation about this in case of alcohol and gambling. In Surah Baqarah, verse 219, they ask you about alcohol and gambling. Say, there is a great sin, there is a great sin in these two things. They also have some benefits for people's part. Their sin is more than their benefits. My dear brothers and sisters, Islam is a religion of convenience. Islam is a religion of ease. Islam has also given us the best alternative to what it has forbidden. For example, Islam forbids usury in return. Islam legalized trade for us. Number two, Islam forbids silk for men, but in return Islam uh, allow uh, other kind of cloths, other kinds of cloth is legalized by Islam for a man. Number three, Islam forbid adultery, means Islam forbid sex before marriage, but sex after marriage is legalized by Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the great alternatives for us by Islam. Majority of Europeans says that it's a propaganda against us that Islam is really strict and dry religion. But it is wrong concept. It is wrong concept. Islam is not strict and Islam is not strict and Islam is not dry. Islam is a religion of love. Islam is a religion of peace. Islam is a religion of convenience. Islam is a religion of convenience and Islam is a religion of ease. One of the principles of Islam is that whatever causes haram is also haram in Islam. In this way, it's also haram. In this way, Islam also prevented the sources of haram. For example, Islam forbid adultery. So Islam also forbid causes and motives of adultery. For example, for example, women go out wearing makeup like time of ignorance. Unnecessary number two, unnecessary mixing of man and a woman. Number three, nude photos, pornography, Islam boycott all these things. The sinner is not only the person who committed haram. Rather all these who help in promotion, who help to promote sin in any way are sinner. As Holy Prophet peace be upon him, not only cause the drinker. Holy Prophet also caused those who make, who make wine and the sellers and the buyers of the wine. My dear brothers and sisters, the things which are haram also remains haram forever. Even if it is done with a good faith. Therefore, if a person earn haram money, earn haram money through bribery, through usury, therefore, and then he will build masjid and help poor with this money. Although the purpose of, the purpose is really good. But money is haram, money is haram. So listen, hadith of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said that who earned haram wealth and then gave it in charity. So there is no reward for him. There is no reward for him. Rather, there is a burden on him uh, because of haram earning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and me from haram sources of earning like bribery, like usury. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and me from 
adultery from sex before marriage may allah subhanahu wa taala protect you and me from all kind of sin